Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. First of all, this is my original voice. I didn't use an AI. Voiceover because, for the moment, let's start like this. So this is a DVD ROM player and this is a special kit. In this video, we'll see how to turn this media player into a real audio CD player. Wait a moment. Please forgive me my bad English, but I promise I will improve. Write me in the comments if you like this new format. Good vision. This is a kit I found on Aliexpress. Let's see what's inside the package. This is the Atmel microcontroller with its socket. The FAT cable for ID connection. The board with some components are red mounted. The remote control to control some function. But only some buttons are active. This is the display to show the track number and remain time. Two electrolytic capacitor and a bag with many electronic components. Now I prepare the workstation to thin the components array installed. This is the trimmer for adjusting the brightness of the display. Four non-polarized capacitors. The three electrolytic capacitors. The 5V voltage stabilizer. And finally, the crystal. I do a test to see if the components have been fixed well and proceed with soldering. Now it's time to also solder the microcontroller and the resistive networks. This is the ID connector where I remove a pin, because it's not present on the board. After having mounted the IR sensor, I insert all the buttons to control the CD audio player. And also insert the small green LED and proceed with the final thinning. On the display, I'm going to solder the mail strip connector, which I will the connector to the board. To lock it, I will use brass spacers with its isolation washer. The kit was been completed. This is our many CD-ROM players, the ROMs and burners that I have recovered over the years. On the back there are the analog outputs, which we need to amplify it. I will now proceed with the electrical connection. I will need two voltage, a 5V and 12V, which I will take from the laboratory power supply. We can also get a 5V using a DC-DC converter and use a single 12V supply. Now I need an amplifier with two speakers, an ID connector that I recovered from an old ATX power supply, and this is the cable I bought for connecting the audio signal. 
Now I proceed to electrical connection. I brought the 12 volt power supply to the board and now I bring the 5 volt power supply to the anode connector. A power on for the first time and the PCB seems to work. I connect the IDE power connector and the FET signal cable. As you can see, it doesn't work because we have to configure the DVD player in master mode with this jumper. Now the player has been recognized and is waiting for an audio CD to be inserted. To listen to the audio, the signal output must be brought to the amplifier. It works perfectly and with the buttons we can control the functions of the CD player. And now I'll try with this other DVD players. Unfortunately this doesn't work. We also try this other DVD player. But this one doesn't seem to work either. This is a DVD burner that also has a headphone jack. Inside I found a CD with MP3 songs. that can only be played on this player, but it works with a classic audio CD. Little by little I will try them all, including this old and worn DVD-ROM. perfectly working. This burner also passed the test. Some tracks for my favorite artist, Elton John, 1978 A Single Man Album. This Hewlett Packard burner also passed the test. Unfortunately, this creative player doesn't work, because it had panel buttons to control the audio tracks. Let's hope this black player is working. Can you tell me the name of the band of this album? Write me to the comment. This LG player didn't pass the test, but I think it's a laser cleaning issue. Finally, here are the last two readers that I found in my laboratory, and both are in perfect working order. This is the situation of the test I did with this card. The first is not compatible. These four are not working and these are the ones who paused the test. 8 out of the total of 12 CD DVD players, players paused the test.
here we are guys we reach the end of the video put like if you want to see the 3.0 version of my old media player and also for using my real voice without ai i hope you enjoyed the video and i will see you again next week enjoy